Today's video is brought to you by Survival Frog, where preparing is made easy. All their products are shipped straight from the United States. Stick around to learn more about their amazing products and their company. What did you see? That is a Are we going hiking? You saw a really tall mountain? Look above it now. Out your window? Are we going hiking on that? I don't think so. It looks tired. You guys ready to be there? Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are off the farm. Yeah, we've taken a special adventure for spring break. We're gonna go um, hiking and do some different things and show you around to an exciting place called Robbers Cave in Wilburton, Oklahoma. So this is a couple hours south of our house and was it a long trip, Ransom? Yeah. <laughs> he asked about every five minutes, are we there yet? Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, he did really good. He did pretty good. But we're going to go inside and look around and kind of find out where we're at and get some information before we head out. So we'll head inside and then we'll take you along for our day. Yeah, and we're going to answer the question that we're asking right now. Why is Robber's Cave called Robber's Cave? So come along and we hope you enjoy the video today. Let's get to it. What's he doing, Mazzy? Cutting wood. He's cutting wood. What is it? it looks like a wood, wood hammer, too. See all those old tools they used to use to cut wood? So what is he doing? He's working, see? They put people to work. Civilian Conservation Corps. What'd you find, Sissy? This. Rock candy? Nope, want... don't touch it. We're not touching stuff right now. Put it down. The light horsemen, that's like their police. The Choctaw Indians. And they played stickball. Remember we watched stickball? Mm -hmm. You go straight up, you can make it to the Where's hole Ransom, one? you got your strategy down? Yeah. Hole what are you going to do first? Um, I think I would do hole one. Okay, we'll see. So we found a disc golf course and Mazzy found a park right up here. So she's at home in that park. And we're going to go and do the uh, disc golf course real quick. Hole so it's... Right it's only a nine hole course, so it should only take us about 30 minutes or an hour. Bethany, you excited to play your first round? Yeah. <laughs> She's never played before. Ranger, you gonna teach her how? Yeah. All right, Me we'll see. Me too. You too? Bye. All right, so Bethany, since she hasn't played before, we're gonna tell her everybody the rules real quick. So this one is a par three. So, so you get three throws to make it 264 win, feet. You have to make it three, you have to throw it and three And you have times. to make it in there? You so have you, to. So you have to get it, it's like putting the, um, golf ball in a hole in golf okay. so instead you put this disc into the basket all right ranger you want to start off and show us how it's done oh, gosh. Ah! oh. 
That's okay. That's so that's his first throw. Ransom, you gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Good job. That All right, well we'll get to throwing and see how it goes. All right, good job. Almost. And then we get mine. So I am that was my third shot. So this makes four for me. So we're having a lot of fun, but this is a really challenging course because look how close the baskets are to the water. So like this basket here is right there. If one of our discs goes in the water, we're done with it. So we're going to try to be conservative as we stay by the water, but in a minute we'll get back closer to land and we'll get to uh, throw some hard discs. Yeah. Ready, go. Good job. All right, out, not in the water. Good one. That was good. Oh, no. Good job. All right, we got Bethany. Oh. Good job, sis. You got a good roll. All right, let's see if I can throw mine while I've got the camera. <gasps> oh, don't go in the water. Oh, right by the edge of the water. How far? It's flat right there. Yeah. I see it. I see it, but it's far down there. All right. See if you can see a stick, guys. A long one? Yeah. So, just like I was talking about, this is a tough course because the water is right here. And the area is unsafe for swimming, diving, or related water activities. You think I'll get it, Ransom? Mm -hmm. Did you get it? We're Look fishing it. for it. It's right there. Oh, Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Daddy, do you think I have this stuff in there? I hope not. I hope you don't. Oh, I got it. I might need to keep that stick in hand. All right, let's see if I can make my throw from here. <laughs> Ready? Yep, maybe it won't. Oh! No. Well, it's away from the water. It's away from the water. All right. All right. Bethany's up. She's got some practice in. Let's see how she does. Oh, God. Good job, sis. <laughs> that was the... All right. Okay, here he goes. You ready? Ow. He's going to make it. No. Oh. Whoa! That was a good throw. And I'm over there. Oh, you gotta throw that thing sideways or you won't get it in there. There you go. Alright, let's see Bethany. Oh, wow. I'm gonna show you that up here. Let's go. Okay, this might be difficult. Uh, okay, this is difficult when I'm holding the camera and doing this. Let's go backwards. I'm taking more. Amazing view. Uh, now down the slide. Kind of getting hungry. Did you bring any snacks? Mm -hmm. 
Chocolate animal crackers? Mm -hmm. Score! I ate the last one. Mm, thank you. Hey, guys, guess what? what? They had some Bigfoot sightings this weekend. No, so, listen, listen, when we're out here, Bigfoot never does anything to people, but just look for signs, like look for footprints Wait. that are Wait, three times actually, the size of a human. Is there actually? He, they all look no, like four-year-olds that are in lime green shirts. <laughs> I am. Oh, no. Oh, no, you better hide. No, Bigfoot's friendly, guys, I'm so hiding. look for signs, though, because there's been sightings here, okay? To tell people about that's not smart. What'd you say, Ranger? Put a cigarette down on the ground. You hey. could set the whole thing on fire. Oh man, don't do that, people. There's a hill alert. Hill alert. <laughs> Maggie's had puddle alerts, hill alerts. What else, sis? Thorn alerts. Thorn alerts. All right. Thank you. You making it? Is it gonna flatten out anytime soon? I don't think so. I think it's the Kiyomishi Mountains. We went from the foothills of the Ozarks to the Kiyomishi Mountains. Maggie, right what? Where at? Oh, that's right. There's the trees that are all piled up, aren't they? Over there, it looks like a cave. Under that tree? Yeah. Oh, there's a rock formation. Come right here. Oh. Oh, that is a tree. Yeah, that's a tree. Maggie said that's where Bigfoot sleeps. Where are those pictures going? Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Mazzy, did you find a comfy spot? Yeah, I could sleep in if I found me a comfy spot. This one's cold and it feels good. Yeah? <laughs> Mazzy found her a chair. Look at Ransom. There's a little chair. Ransom, is that the best spot? Daddy, look, here's a chair. Yep, you guys be careful. Don't fall down. Don't fall. There's something in there. What's in there, sis? Look, this is map that we're on. Oh, map? Mm -hmm. And we, and we. So, let's not get lost. Yeah. Is a legendary outlaw I'm hideout. I'm keeping this so I can Mama, make sure. Bell Star. Maybe that's a good dog name. Ah, uh, maybe. Is there another one? Yeah, but we don't want to take all the maps. No, we have to look at the map. We have to go up here. Step, ransom. Always make sure. Come here. Got it? We can go in it. Cassie, come on. <laughs> Let's go. We can't. Yeah. Oh, I told you. It's cold in here. It's like, it's not See how cold it is? It'll be like an air conditioner. Let's go. Walk as far as you want. It's not that freezing. Be careful. There might be bats in here. <laughs> Maybe this is where um, oh Bigfoot it's lives. Small and wet. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Ah, it's small. I'm going. Oh, it gets tiny. I'm going back through. Wait. You're, hey, I'm right behind you. You're good. Cassie, it gets really small. Mama, oh. you're not going to be able to make it. You guys got it. All right, see so if Daddy can go through. We'll take the subscribers through. Hey, small. turn around. I, want, I don't want to go through that hole again. Then go back out that way so you can walk around. You can go behind me or in front of me if you want. Whoa, we're inside the rocks. You making it, sissy? Yeah. Daddy's proud of you. You're doing so good. Wait, Bethany.
That's what I thought. Yeah, that was double slide. Oh, time to wait for everybody. Let's wait for Mom and Bubba. This is a very big tree. Now, Mom and Bubba. What did we find, Bethany? A cave. You gotta watch this first step, it's a doozy, okay? You don't wanna fall in that pit, do you? No. Ah, come on, man. Ready? <laughs> Here. Ransom, you having fun? Mm hmm. Oh, Who's scaring you? Right there. Oh, right. oh, oh. That girl. She's climbing. That girl You guys find the cool rock, Ransom? Yeah. Did you climb on top of it? Let's see if you can get on top of it. Whoa, look at you. There's a little foot Good job, bud. So today is a very special day for Ransom. Today is his gotcha day anniversary. So three years ago, Ransom officially became a, a walker. So on the kids gotcha days, we try to do something special and celebrate them. So uh, if you're new to the channel, foster care and adoption is near and dear to our heart. And so uh, we hope you guys enjoy today's adventures and celebrating with us for Ransom's special gotcha day three year anniversary. Hiya! So we have had a blast hiking down here at Robbers Cave State Park and the kids are playing on one of the playgrounds here they're having a lot of fun so we were going to take a minute to show everybody the cool things that we got uh, from survival frog so if you've been watching for even just a few weeks you guys know we had an arctic blast a few weeks ago and got down to like negative 14 17 and doing chores was just not fun our hands were freezing and we just weren't prepared survivor frog sent us one of these rechargeable hand warmers and it's not something we need today exactly but it's something we will be using a lot in the future hunting um, on when we go to alaska possibly and um, in the future when we have cold weather trying to do the chores so i actually uh, turned it on and it's getting warm but it's rechargeable um, it's super warm and it has different settings on the side for um, how warm you want it to get, I guess. So that's a really cool product that we look forward to using when it's not summer. Yeah, I think when we go hunting, that's going to be awesome. Another thing they sent us is a couple emergency reusable sleeping bags. So I had those, both of these in my backpack and they are very, very lightweight. And just as it says emergency, so if Ranger and I wanted to go hiking and somehow we got off the trail, got lost, um, and it started getting dark, we would have one of these sleeping bags to keep us warm in the cold, cold temperatures. So I think that would be great for an emergency and it ha also, have on hand. It also has this that where you can clip it on, but they have whistles and things too on a lot of their products. Let's so try that, that whistle out. Oh geez. You ready? <laughs> so if you do get lost, then you can now, make sure and alert people where you're at. Now everyone is staring at us. That's okay. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is their pocket stove. So I kept it in the box because it was kind of the best way to um, travel with it. Like Gary said, he's had all this stuff in his backpack. 
um, to have with us just in case we had an emergency, but also we want to get used to carrying these type of things. So their motto is um, prepared made easy. So small compact things that you can carry around don't take up a lot of room so that if there is something that happens, you have an emergency, you're able to do what you need. So this is a small camp stove. And the very last and probably my favorite is this little plasma lighter. I'm pretty excited about that. It's rechargeable and it also has a flashlight on it. So you can see that there. It's a really bright flashlight. It also has an emergency setting right there. And the lighter works. It's waterproof is another thing. Um, but the lighter works like this. Just open it up. Got to push the button <laughs> to release. And right there, and I'll do the plasma. Uh, let me get it focused first. That's pretty cool. So I'm I'm thinking they did not advertise as this, but you might could also use it for personal protection <laughs> because it's got a lot of uh, juice coming through there. Do not touch it, obviously. But you can get multiple lights out of that. I, th I thought it said like 300 lights before you have to charge it. Yes, and then you it, you can recharge it. So it's super cool um, to have waterproof. So oh, hang on. You forgot the most important part. It oh. has a whistle too. Yes, it also has a little whistle <laughs> built into the handle. So if you attach this to your bag, then you'll have a another whistle for an emergency. I won't blow on this one. I'll let Cassie do it later. So I actually just realized that this pocket stove actually has a carrying case. So they thought of everything. Um, this little pocket stove just opens up and it comes with these things and this is your your fuel i guess it yeah, is six different fuel packs and you put that in there and you just have a little stove so it's very simple and easy to use if you needed to boil water or whatever it was uh, to get your by so i'm going to put it in the handy dandy holder and put it in our backpack so that we'll always have it in case of emergency so we've had a lot of fun today on our little adventure for spring break. Make sure you go down in the description uh, to our link for Survival Frog and our affiliate link. We truly appreciate them working with us. Um, we're excited to try out some more products and um, in the future and let you know how some of this works out for us. So we've had a great day um, at Robert's Cave today with our kids and with our niece Bethany. And uh, we hope you enjoyed the scenery. If you've never made it this way in Wilberton, Oklahoma, you truly need to check it out. Yeah, I'm just ready to use that lighter. I'm, I think <laughs> that's one of the coolest the lighters. I, I've used it at home a couple times, but um, we'll be using it in some upcoming videos on the farm, and I'm excited to use that and some of the other stuff when we go camping later on. Yeah, so we, we uh, basically just wanted to show you those products, tell you about the company, that it's out there, that it, it exists. There's food and water and survival things there's gear there's there's all sorts of stuff on their website so you guys go down there and take a look and see what th something that you could maybe use what i really like about it is they're compact they're small it does it's i can carry them and it's not like carrying around 50 pounds of gear um that you may or may not need yeah so when we were playing disc golf a while ago all of those items were in my bag and i couldn't tell any difference than what i normally do um, they're just really lightweight and in an emergency you'll be prepared well, we want to thank you guys for watching today. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you haven't, head over to our Facebook page, Walker Farm Fam. Make sure you're following us there. We always got stuff going on over there that sometimes we don't put on uh, YouTube. We also upload all of our videos on Facebook. So we appreciate you guys that are watching us there. So we really want to thank you for following along today as we went on one of our spring break adventures. We hope you all have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.